Boeing's Starliner spacecraft recently completed a significant mission demonstrating that the pursuit of commercial spaceflight is both attainable and complex. On September 7, 2024, the Starliner, dubbed Calypso, landed safely at White Sands Space Harbor in New Mexico. This event marked the conclusion of a journey that began over a decade ago, filled with challenges, but ultimately aimed at redefining space exploration. For Boeing, this mission symbolizes both a triumph over adversity and a potential turning point for commercial space operations. Boeing's Starliner project dates back to 2010, when NASA selected Boeing and SpaceX to build spacecraft capable of transporting astronauts to the International Space Station, or ISS. This initiative, known as the Commercial Crew Program, was designed to develop private sector alternatives to NASA's reliance on Russian Soyuz spacecraft for crewed missions to the ISS after the Space Shuttle program ended. While SpaceX's Dragon capsule had been a front-runner in the race to commercialize spaceflight, Boeing's Starliner experienced delays, malfunctions, and setbacks that hampered its progress. The name Calypso was bestowed upon the spacecraft by NASA astronaut Sunita Williams in 2019, drawing inspiration from Jacques Cousteau's famous research vessel. The name signified exploration and the deep desire to push human boundaries beyond Earth, connecting oceanic voyages of discovery with the new frontier of space. The road to this successful landing was not without its hurdles. Starliner encountered issues that delayed its progress. The most notable of these was the uncrewed orbital flight test in December 2019, which experienced a software error that caused the spacecraft to enter an incorrect orbit. As a result, the spacecraft could not reach the ISS and return to Earth earlier than planned. Despite the safe return, the mission's failure highlighted several weaknesses in Boeing's approach to spacecraft automation and mission management. NASA and Boeing undertook extensive reviews and implemented critical updates to Starliner's software and hardware to ensure future missions would be successful. This process of learning from failure underscored the complexity of space missions, where even the smallest miscalculation can have significant repercussions. The mission also highlighted NASA's continued emphasis on safety, demonstrating that even in the commercial spaceflight sector, stringent oversight and testing are required before entrusting human lives to these vehicles. By 2024, Starliner had completed numerous tests, and NASA greenlit a second uncrewed mission to the ISS which was successfully launched earlier in the year. This flight tested all key systems, including docking capabilities, life support, and the integrity of the spacecraft during re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. With this successful demonstration, Boeing gained NASA's confidence to move forward with crewed missions. The 2024 mission was of particular interest as it followed a successful docking with the ISS NASA astronaut Sunita Williams, who had stayed on board the ISS as part of her extended mission, bid farewell to Calypso when it undocked from the space station in early September. The spacecraft, though uncrewed on its return journey, carried valuable cargo back to Earth. This marked the end of an era for Williams, who had been associated with the spacecraft since its naming and had been involved in several critical phases of its development and testing. Starliner's re-entry into Earth's atmosphere was, well, a tense moment for both NASA and Boeing engineers. The deorbit burn, initiated at 11.17 p.m. EDT on September 6, was a critical step in ensuring the spacecraft re-entered the atmosphere at the correct trajectory to land safely in New Mexico. The service module, which housed the propulsion systems, was jettisoned and burned up during re-entry over the Pacific Ocean, while the command module, containing sensitive electronics and cargo, continued its descent. As the spacecraft re-entered the atmosphere, it experienced extreme temperatures of up to 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit due to friction. This caused a plasma buildup around the spacecraft, resulting in a brief communication blackout. Although nerve-wracking, this is standard for re-entry missions and had been anticipated by mission control. After about four and a half minutes, communication was re-established and the spacecraft deployed its parachutes as planned. At an altitude of 30,000 feet, Starliner jettisoned its forward heat shield, exposing the parachutes needed for a controlled descent. Three main parachutes deployed, slowing the spacecraft's speed dramatically. At 3,000 feet, the base heat shield was jettisoned, and six landing airbags were inflated to cushion the spacecraft's landing. Starliner touched down gently at approximately 4 miles per hour. 
The success of this mission is a testament to Boeing's commitment to overcoming setbacks in pursuit of a broader vision for space exploration. Boeing is one of the world's leading aerospace companies, and its involvement in the commercial crew program has been pivotal in developing new technologies that will enable humanity to explore space more sustainably. For NASA, the success of Starliner represents the realization of a decade-long goal to diversify the space industry by encouraging private sector innovation. Through partnerships with companies like Boeing and SpaceX, NASA hopes to foster a vibrant space economy where space tourism, research, and possibly even off-world colonization could one day become a reality. NASA's Artemis program, which aims to return humans to the moon by 2025, could potentially see collaborations with Boeing's Starliner in the future. Though Starliner is primarily designed for low-Earth orbit missions, Boeing is already looking ahead to adaptations that could extend the spacecraft's reach to the moon or beyond. Looking forward, Boeing aims to conduct additional crewed missions with Starliner, paving the way for potential commercial space flights. The success of these missions is vital for establishing Boeing as a key player in the burgeoning space tourism industry. With SpaceX already transporting private citizens to space, the pressure is on for Boeing to meet demand in this exciting new market. NASA, meanwhile, continues to push the envelope of human space exploration. The agency's plans to establish a sustainable presence on the moon and eventually send humans to Mars require close collaboration with commercial partners like Boeing. As more private companies enter the space industry, the cost of space travel is expected to decrease, making it more accessible to a wider range of participants. The successful return of Starliner to Earth on September 7, 2024, marks a pivotal moment in the history of space exploration. It signifies the ability of private companies like Boeing to take on increasingly complex missions, working alongside NASA to achieve the goals of human space exploration. This mission represents not only the culmination of years of hard work, dedication and perseverance, but also a glimpse into the future, where space becomes a domain not just for astronauts, but for all of humanity. As Boeing continues to refine the Starliner spacecraft and prepares for future missions, the dream of commercial spaceflight is becoming a reality. The collaboration between Boeing and NASA stands as a beacon of what is possible when government and private industry unite in the quest to push the boundaries of what humanity can achieve in space. This mission, though completed, is just the beginning of a new era of exploration that will take us further than ever before. I hope you will get some new knowledge or thought from this video. If you have any comments about this topic, you can write them in the comments. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching till the end. Have a nice day. Bye bye.